everyone. I'm Sue Brooke and welcome to our webinar today. We're going to talk about how we're going to attract your most profitable customers, turning them into raving fans and have them knocking down your door with referrals. I'm here with my good friend Renee Reich. I'm going to let her introduce herself, but I just have to tell you um, the things I'm going to teach you guys today is I met her on Facebook. I've never met her in person, but went on her Facebook page and she is like, you can tell immediately, you guys all have to go at her on Facebook because she is the biggest connector uh, person that I've ever met. I thought I was, but my gosh, her entire Facebook, personal Facebook page is her with selfies with like anyone and everyone in the world. Like amazing woman. I, and I'm super excited to meet her in person in a couple of weeks, but we're doing this webinar together because we're both those people that love to just get out there and meet people and network and we're the offline marketers. So Renee, go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Um, just give us a quick synopsis of who you are. Okay. So as Sue said, I'm Renee Reich and I am a super influencer. I, uh, I am a big connector. I just love going out and meeting people. I come from a corporate 500 company retail for 25 years. So, you know, most of my life at this point, and uh, when I was released from that company in 2017, I'm like, what am I going to do now? But to backtrack for a few years before, I didn't know that. Um, I talk about God smack, being God smacked. A friend of mine used to say that and like, what is that? Well, it's when you get hit over the head a couple of times and you're like, what is this? In 2013, I lost my voice to a devastating illness that it was a virus that attacked my throat, my vocal cords. And I couldn't speak. I couldn't be with the public. Aside from God, who's number one in my life, my family. The other two things I love are speaking and connecting, and those were the very two things that were taken from me. And I didn't understand it then because I wasn't very spiritual. I just didn't understand what happened other than I was really, really sick. And then in 2017, I was released from that corporate America job. I'm not going to go into the illness and everything, but that's uh, just something, a little bit of my journey that brought me here. And I didn't know what I was going to do, and I started trying to go back to the retail world. I figured I've done this. I could do it with my eyes closed. But that kept slamming down on me, and then the entrepreneurial world kept opening up. Sue saw me, and she's like, this girl is all over and, and with all these people, and she would be great with this kind of you know, platform of send-out cards. And quite frankly, um, I wish I had it when I didn't have a voice. I see. There are multiple ways to use your voice, and this would have been an amazing gift for me to use during that time when I didn't have a voice. That would have been a way for me to continue my connections outside of my four walls and the hell that I was living. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to leave that now to Sue to, to start this webinar. I'm, I'll be chiming in along the way because a lot of these things that are in send out cards are just amazing tools. And uh, it's an opportunity, whether you're an entrepreneur or a, a business owner and you've got people working with you, this is just an amazing tool to use. So go ahead, Sue, take it from here. Thank you. Okay, so like I said, we're going to talk about how to get most your most profitable customers, blah, 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 turn them into raving fans, and uh, one of my favorite topics on the planet. So um, really quickly, I am a business marketing strategist. My claim to fame is, I, well, I opened my first business when I was about 22 years old. It was a ballroom dance studio back in the middle of Nebraska. And um, from there, my, my biggest claim to fame is opening a, I had a school, it was a full-fledged school, after-school program, tutoring the whole nine yards for almost 20 years. And um, so I learned a lot of things about starting and growing businesses. Basically, both of those businesses that I had, um, I, start, I started with no money in the bank for marketing. Like, I had no money to market. It's like, I, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was, they, I was a new business owner. So everything I'm going to teach you today is really exactly what I did to build my businesses with, without marketing, without spending marketing and dollars. I actually, it was all about building relationships. So whoops, there's our, our screen for you, Renee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to teach you today is about what I call a relationship marketing follow-up referral generation and customer retention system. Like it's everything that you possibly need to grow your business. Now I have to tell my quick story because this is, this is a culmination of what happened about a year and a half ago. Actually, oh my gosh, it'll be two years 
on the 14th of this month that I got a message on Facebook from a woman that told me she was a co cousin of my mother's and my mother passed away when I was only eight years old. And long story short, she told me that her, her nephew put his DNA into Ancestry and it matched up with my, uh, a girl in Sebastopol, Northern California, and that's the girl that's in the picture there with me, the one on the right. Um, that was the very first day we met, and we did not plan the outfits or the shoes. <laughs> um, on the left, that's her and I, and then my younger sister. She was only five when our mother died, and that was the first day we met. So I'm telling you this story, but not because it's so cool, and we're, we've been on Women's World Magazine and all kinds of stuff. But my whole life changed, obviously. I found a sister, I never knew existed and um, so I sold everything got rid of my business got rid of everything and I moved to live with her in Northern California in Sebastopol and I moved here not knowing one single person not knowing a single person so I had to figure out because I needed to start meeting business owners I wanted to help business owners grow and market their businesses so I, my sister went off to work and she said, I have to go make some money. So, you know, you're on your own. <laughs> and so what I'm going to show you today is exactly what I did to move to a brand new community, not knowing one single person. And now literally everywhere I go, I get, um, people see me, they know me, they all they know what I do. And most all of them say, I have something, I have a, they have a card that I sent them or something on their desk that I sent them with a picture on it. And um, super powerful. I get calls literally every week with people asking how they can work with me and who, how they can refer business to me. It's amazing um, how this works. So basically, it's all about relationships. Right, Renee? You know this better than anyone. <laughs> Absolutely. That is, it's the key is the relationships and building them. That's right. And, you know, most people, when they hear relationship marketing, they put the emphasis on marketing, which is wrong. You want to put 80% of your emphasis on building the relationship, building friendships, and only 20% on marketing. And uh, that, like I said, it's one of the biggest things. And, and I like to call it crockpot marketing. Why? <laughs> I'm just going to ask you a rhetorical question. I know all of you are going to answer the same thing. Which would you rather eat food out of, right? A crockpot or a microwave? Um, I can tell you. I lived on microwave food for a long time and it's disgusting. And who wants to, you can't build a relationship in a microwave overnight, right? It takes lots of time, okay, to create that. So this isn't the get rich, you know, get tons of customers overnight thing. This is about building relationships and then those relationships turning into something way bigger. It all starts with being a nice person. Being nice person i can tell you right now that i like i said i've never met renee in person but i've been on a couple webinars with her i have seen her interact with other people and everyone loves her like they love her and i know it's because she's really nice she's just nice <laughs> right i mean so have you ever seen the have you ever run into people where you know you look at them across the room and they have that grumpy look on their face. They're just kind of, they look really miserable. They have that, I don't know what, what you call it, that look on their face. But then if you go up to them or if someone walks up to them, they can, it's like they flip a switch and they're like all nice they for a while. Yeah. They yeah. yeah. And when they walk away, they go back to being grumpy again. It's like, you can't do that. You have to be nice all the time. So um, the other thing is take a personal interest in other people. Don't be the person that talks about yourself all the time. Ask, ask people about them. Like Amber was saying, oh my gosh, people's stories are fascinating. Like Absolutely. you should, we just all just made our whole lives about wanting to get to know people and their story. My gosh, the whole world would change. Right? It would just it would change. I agree. I agree. So anyway. And then also to that point, you find out things that you have more in common with them when you listen to them. And yeah. not just talk about yourself, you know, then you, you're opening yourself up to listening and maybe there's commonalities between you. Absolutely. So this is, it's a perfect yeah, opportunity to do that. And I have to tell this, this really just happened to me like a few weeks ago. I was actually a girl who was kind of a friend and we hadn't seen each other for a while. We went out for a drink and we were talking and she was, and uh, 
I asked her, I'm always usually the person that says, so tell me what's new in your life. Tell me what's going on. And she went on and on and on and on about all the things going on in her life. And she was all excited about it went on and on and on. And then finally she said, well, what about you? And I am not joking. You guys, she, the minute she said, what about you? And I opened my mouth to talk. She went, she started looking past me. Oh, look, there's someone coming in the front door or she starts eating. Like she didn't, she did not care one thing about what I was saying, like blatantly obvious. So please don't be that person. <laughs> All I have to say. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about networking. Right, this, I have this is Renee's favorite topic right here is networking. Don't we go to networking events? And this is really what we see is everybody just like being the business card collector. <laughs> Right. Okay, you guys, I'm going to interject here. How many, and I'm going to, I'm going to raise my hand to have either shoe boxes or drawers full of business cards, right? And you don't even know, you're looking at them like, who are these people? I, I know I met them. They may, they may sound familiar because time's gone on and nothing happened. You're like, well, I should, I want to throw it away, but maybe there's a contact along the way I should call them. And we still have them. We could probably dust them off and play 52 pickup or something with them. I don't know. But it's, yeah, we get all these cards and you do nothing with them. So go ahead. Sue. Oh my gosh. Thank you for saying that. I it just drives me crazy. And you know what? I'm just going to throw in this bonus tip for everyone. Please, for God's sakes, put your picture on your business card. If you have a business card that does not have your photograph, and I'm not talking about your online dating photograph, I'm sure that doesn't look like you anymore, get your uh, current photo because you know what? That is building a relationship right there. That's about building relationships. People will remember you. They need to remember what you look like. I go through business cards and I, all the ones that have little tiny writing on them and no picture, I don't remember these people. Yeah. And uh, you know, I remember faces, right? Well, yeah, you, yeah, absolutely. But so, we're going to tell you guys a good way to actually have that done because um, with the great tool of send out cards, you can actually advertise yourself yeah. on the back of the card. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. I want to give you a little heads up on that because it's, it's an amazing, it's used as a business card itself with send out cards. So yeah, it's, um, I it's don't need business cards anymore. Exactly. Yeah. So, so go ahead. Okay, so this is really, really important. Okay, if you don't, if this is one of the major takeaways that we want to get, pat, get by with this is everywhere you go, you need a contact. Okay, every person you meet, whether it's at a networking event, a chamber mixer, in line at Starbucks, um, anywhere, that person is a contact. Now, every contact is going to fall into one of two two buckets. They're either going to fall into a referral bucket or a prospect bucket. So let's talk about the prospect. Now, this happens to be a really big uh, mistake that especially network marketers make in particular, and I'm just calling that out because it's something that I've noticed where in this new neighborhood is people are going out to networking events, and this really anybody, I shouldn't really call it just them, but um, people are thinking, well, I'm going to meet a person and they're going to become a customer. So that's possible. That's absolutely possible. But I'm telling you that bucket is very small. Not everybody wants or needs what you're selling. And you know, we, of course, we all believe everybody needs it, but they don't. But here's the thing. I don't want to be in the pro. I would much rather be in the referral bucket. Why? Because A, bucket is way bigger because everybody could be in the referral bucket. If you build relationships with all sorts of people and they really love you, guess what? They can tell lots of people. So you could get a lot more customers by just building relationships with people and making friends rather than trying to sell them your stuff right away. Right? Okay. Absolutely. So, and here we go. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Mm -hmm. If they remember you, <laughs> like Renee says, like, don't just put their business card in a bucket and, the, you know, in a shoe box. They have to remember you. So, Really, here's some really good statistics. 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. It's crockpot marketing, okay? Crockpot. It takes yep. time. You have to keep in touch with them. And so you need a follow up system. So I'm super glad that Renee brought that up because it's a follow up system you have to have in place. Now, I'm going to ask everybody a question. How many send out 
regular emails, like have an email blast that they send out. Okay, I'm guessing people raise their hand. Now I'm gonna ask you another question. How many of you love to get emails? Like love it, you get so excited. You run to the computer every day and go, oh my gosh, I have 10 million emails that I've <laughs> I'll, I'll answer no, no, and no. <laughs> Hate them. Email is out. I just had a conversation right before this webinar that, with someone and I'm like, email is out. And believe me, these email, email statistics, I believe are now lower. Um, at the time that I did the research, it was about 11% of emails are actually open. The bottom line is only one to 2% people actually read them. So why are you wasting so much time sending so many emails? I don't. And the thing is also to your point, so I was talking to somebody um, either earlier today or yesterday about that they said they have so many, it was today actually, it was so many emails, she's like, do you send me anything? Because I don't even, she said, I don't even look at them anymore. There's so many and it could get lost in the, by the flow of so many that people like, I don't even want to look at the email because they don't want to look at a thousand emails and go and start going through, which are the ones I, that are important. You know, they don't know that the email is coming. So if you look at this, uh, the screen right now, there's a 15 <laughs> years ago versus today, how many are read then and how many today? I mean, there's so many unopened emails and I'm going to attest to this slide because I'm one of them. Yeah. I'm like, I don't open all the emails. I would just spend my whole day on the computer and it's just there's you know so much to do it's it's time wasting it's, it's a lot of time wasting yeah so, so, all, uh, so this is that's so funny so a lot years ago it was so fun when it was you got mail you know everybody's so excited I'll, I'll i remember that and i'll always remember it but now it's like if you get a letter in the mail it's like all the rest of the mail goes in the trash or on the counter and the first thing you're going to do is open that, that personal letter or that personal card because a hundred percent open rate every single reading card yes. is 100 percent open rate and everybody's gonna read it every single person so hello why wouldn't you just do this you know all right tangible thank you card generates more referral business than any other form of communication and i'm going to tell you this i'm going to give you some proof here there's a guy write this book down how to sell anything to anybody by joe gerard short book short read he held the Guinness Book of World Records since like the 70s. He sold about 1,500 cars in a year, sold an average of six cars a day. And he had a secret. His one thing that he did, every single person he met, including their family members, and I'm not talking about people that he just sold a car to, he sent thank you cards, any kind of cards, birthday cards, Celebration cards. He actually, now this is back in the day when you had to go buy the cards and handwrite everything. And a lot of people are still doing that now. Now we have a much better system. He actually hired a staff of, I don't even know how many people to do these cards, but he, someone just told me that the world record might've been broken recently. So I'm, I've got to look that up. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. Um, those of you guys that know Mary Kay Cosmetics, one of the biggest network marketing companies on the planet, $1.2 billion empire, three, she, Mary Kay, told her reps to send three handwritten thank you cards every night before bed. And then those of you guys, especially in real estate, Tom Hopkins, uh, the, his, he calls it the thank you note habit. His system was 10 handwritten thank you cards every single day, and he had a 100% um, Referral based real estate business. I think he did like 14 million dollars a year like something ridiculous and that's Because he sent thank you cards Okay, I want to talk about this is also super important for everyone that is in business and there's a this is probably one of the most important things I want to want to make sure everybody understands it's customer lifetime value. Okay, a lot of people call it CLV so do you know your customer lifetime value? Here's the thing. Most people go, oh, I have this $100 thing I'm gonna sell to somebody. And so they pay the $100 and you think that's it. But you gotta try to think, what is, how, how for the lifetime of that customer, how much are they gonna spend? So let me, let me see where we're at here. Um, I'm gonna go into that in a second. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna expand on that shortly. Alarming statistics. Number one reason a customer does not come back to you is because they forgot about you. 
I forgot about you and I would, I have a really disturbing story to tell you in a second. <laughs> um, the next one is customers do not leave because of price ever. 85% customers leave because they don't feel appreciated. I promise you, I, my tutoring business, um, I literally, one ad in the paper, I, had, I started out in my living room, I put an ad in the paper, I got one client, one, and I took such good care of that client, they, she, it was a, a couple that had a first grader, and I knew that that first grader, he, they were going to pay about $500 a month, times 12, because I wanted him to stay the entire year, times however many years till he went to college, okay, he stayed with me for a very long time, plus he told everyone. So the value of that customer was, I would not be surprised if I really went back and tried to figure it out was probably at least a million dollars that that one little boy that I took really good care of but generated that much business for me. And here's the thing, I started that business being the cheapest priced uh, learning center. It was a school. and. Um, I literally had to raise my, raise my prices. And pretty soon, because I had to stay in business and I had to raise my prices, I was the most expensive uh, business uh, of the kind in the area. And nobody left me because we took part of our system with taking care of the clients. And the very last thing, this is super important. And I see this, oh my gosh, this is something that I see all the time. People spend so much money trying to get new customers instead of appreciating the ones they already have. Right? I mean, absolutely. I don't think I have to say anything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Now I have to tell, show the screen because this kind of drives the point home. So I'm a Volkswagen new beetle lover. No kind of tended to driving the, the point home with the cars. Uh, yes, I am. I'm a, uh, not right. because I'm just showing off all my cute cars because I do. I've owned seven new Beetles and I have a story around every one of them. But the second one, uh, I was literally hit by a truck um, and I shouldn't be sitting here today. I'm full of titanium and all sorts of things, but that car saved my life, um, which is not the point of my story here. But the point is, I've got seven new Beetles throughout since 2001, I think it was the first year. The pink one is the one I have now that I just bought a couple years ago. Here's what the point that I want to say. I bought every single one of these cars from a different dealership and a different salesperson. So what do you get from that? What if that first person that sold me that very first new Beetle, that I was so excited to get my very first car, what if they would have kept in touch with me? What if they would have loved on me a little bit, kept in touch, so I remembered them? They would have sold a lot of cars because I told everybody to buy a car. I, I was responsible for lots of Beatles being sold. <laughs> okay, here's the disturbing story I was going to tell you guys. There's a realtor in Arizona. I know him. He was taught, he told me about, uh, he actually posted this on Facebook because it was such a big thing. Um, he was really terrible at following up with his customers. So he, he got this system that we're going to talk about today and he got very excited and he entered all of his current clients and his prospects into the system. And he started doing the system that we're going to talk about. He started really, um, taking care of the clients, sending out cards and his business literally exploded. Then Christmas came. And he said, you know, what I didn't do is I didn't put all my old customers in there, all the people that I'd sold or, or listed houses in the past. So we put, he went back and he found all those addresses and he put them in and he sent them all holiday cards. And look what happened. It all came back. A whole bunch of them came back. Undeliverable because guess what? They didn't live there anymore. They sold their houses and bought new houses. So he actually went, wow. I got to check this out. And he went to the MLS and he found out that all these people sold their houses and bought new ones with a different realtor. He lost over $2.5 million in sales. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. So keep in touch with your clients. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. You set yourself apart by reaching out in kindness, you guys, purely with the intent of staying in touch have to tell you this and I usually drive this point through many times you are going to do anything that we're going to show you guys 
and you're going to start doing this relationship marketing stuff and do these systems, if you, your intention sending out this stuff is, is not with the pure, the, the intention of sending out kindness and love and keeping in touch and appreciation and all those feel good words. If you're sending those things out to get more business, it will not work. So while I keep going and while we talk about this, remember that whatever you do, it's all with the intention of um, sending out love and kindness into the world. And I'm, I'm going to answer that really quickly because um, to Sue's point, I sent out over 60 cards in one month. And what I received back was nothing that I ever, ever expected or did with the intention of getting anything back. I did it with the pure intention of sending out love and, and thanks to friends and family. And, and I got selfies back with the picture of them holding the card I sent them. I got audio messages back. I got actually, I got a card in the mail for the card from the card I sent. And I was, I read that card like 10 times. I'm like, I got a card from the card. I'm like, yeah. how is that? She so, so taken by my card that she turned around and sent me a card thanking her. I'm like, this is incredible. And I've been blown away by each. I'm standing in the line in a grocery store, a text message comes, a visual message comes, an audio message comes, all for thanking me for what I did. And it was not, that was not the intention of getting anything back, but yeah. I did just it's it's incredible so go ahead Sue. yes and you're gonna get so many more but i have to tell you the most amazing story that happened to me now mind you i do this to other people what i'm going to tell you all the time but no one had ever done this to me so here's exactly here's my secret this is what i did to get really well known and become almost a celebrity in this area in a really short amount of time so i when I first, when I was sitting here all by myself, I, and I decided, well, I need to go buy, I mean, yeah, I, I need to go find business owners and, and get to know some people and make some friends. So where are business owners? Well, they're at chamber mixers and they're at networking events and they're at women's groups. So I went to a chamber mixer and I did what I do all the time. And I'm going to show you in just a moment how I did this. But basically I met this guy, his name was Dave. Dave was a financial advisor. I took a selfie of us and I created a, a card the way I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a second. And I sent him this card with our picture on it. So I went to his office and um, or actually he called me and he said, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Can you, I would love to meet with you. I want to know more about what you do. And I said, well, I want to know more about you too. So we, we met and we were talking and he said, yes, you know, I would love to meet with you some more. Maybe, you know, to see how we can work together. Um, when can you come back? And I said, well, um, Tomorrow morning, early, I'm leaving to go to Nebraska, where I'm from, and um, my father has dementia. He was just diagnosed with that, and we have to move him to assisted living, and it's, it's going to be a tough trip, and I don't know when I'm going to be back. And I didn't know what I was getting into, but he knew. And uh, long story short, it was the worst few weeks of my life. It was really, really difficult. And in fact, I'm going to see my dad uh, next week again and sell off the rest of his stuff. But anyway. Um, when I got back, Dave went on my Facebook page and somehow found this photograph. This photograph is my favorite photograph of my dad and I. Um, it's the very last time that we ever went out in public before we had to move him. And Dave wrote this message to me and it was just a heartfelt message that telling me that he really enjoyed meeting me and that he and that my dad and, and I were in his prayers and it was going to be tough. He understood and he really was looking forward to to working together and I just have to tell you my car, that cards with me every minute and I'm just gonna say this one thing who do you think anybody asks who I know that's a financial advisor who do you think I'm gonna refer people to <laughs> uh, right yes so here's it is do not ask for a referral deserve it there's no reason why anyone has to ask people for a referral to deserve it. Although I'm going to just say this one thing, there is one time when you can ask for a referral and that is when somebody is not a prospect and isn't someone that really wants or needs what you're selling. You can say, I know this isn't right for you, but do you know anybody it might be? So I'm just going to, that was like my little bonus tip. Seriously, you guys, you do what we're going to tell you right now, you will never have to ask for a referral again because everybody's going to want to share everything with you. And uh, hey, go I ahead. Love this this quote. I absolutely love this quote. 
So I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I've actually had this quote posted as well, and then of course Sue and I are so connected with a lot of things we both uh, you know, feel and believe. When I saw this on her card, I'm like, oh my God, that's my favorite quote too. And it's, it's because it's true and I'm an empath and it's how you make them feel. People will, for, will always remember that. Um, they may forget what you said or what you did, but how did I, they make me feel? How did I feel when I got the card from the card I sent from that woman? I felt amazing when Sue sent me my, my a birthday card with all these pictures with me, with all the people I, I had pictures with. I'm like, oh my God, I think I looked at that thing a dozen times in, in a day. <laughs> Um, I couldn't believe it because nobody had done that and it made me feel incredible. So that's such a great quote. Go ahead. Yes. And, and like this one says, what you send out in life is what comes back to you in both ways. If you're sending out things that aren't good, bad things are going to come back to you. So make sure that you're always sending good stuff. And the love and light and kindness. That's right. So I'm going to stop the show real quick and I'm going to show you exactly how Renee and I make so many friends all the time and um so i'm going to actually share the screen on my phone here um so i'm going to click share in my screen and you're going to be able to see my my uh screen on my phone okay so here's what i do i'm just going to walk you through how what renee and i both do um she's i'm sure getting better at it than i am because she's <laughs> okay so down at the bottom right hand Thing. There's it says send out card. So I'm going to click that because I have you can do this on your computer But this is what I do when I'm out. So because I was telling you about Dave um, Here's the app on the phone. So here's what I do. I usually take a photograph or um, I'll show you some pictures when I'm done with this is Mostly I go on Facebook every morning and I go through and I like we all do and we see what everybody's been up to and normally there's lots of pictures of people like either like right now there's tons of pictures of people showing their kids graduating. Um, yeah. Now there's fathers. So a lot of times if you go on my Facebook page, you're going to see a thing that says, Hey, post a, your favorite picture of you and your father. Well, there is a reason why I'm doing that <laughs> because when I post that people are posting their photos and guess what I'm doing. I'm right clicking on the photo and I'm saving the photo on my, on my phone or my desktop. And I'm create, I'm going to create a card, a physical card that they're going to get in the mail that happens to be a five by seven that they can put in a frame and always have. Um, so think about it, you know, nobody prints pictures anymore, right? very rarely. So yeah. here's how we can do that. So this is what the app looks like. Um, there are many, many cards, catalog cards, like you would find maybe in a, you know, Rite Aid or, or Hallmark right. store. store. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm always, I rarely use that. I'm going to click photo cards right there at the top. And um, I'm going to do, I think it's this one. I, you can create a vertical horizontal and I already have one that I'm going to send. So I'm going to click create um, up at the top. And I'm going to click your photo here and you can either take the photo or you can save them in your send out cards library, but I'm going to go ahead and go on my phone. And That's how I've been doing it too. yeah, I just downloaded this picture. This is my friend, Carrie. Carrie's a major card sender. She loves it. And she just posted this. Her and her son went to the beach for a day. She actually took a day off um, and she went to the beach. And I thought this was the cutest picture at the beach. So I went ahead and stole the picture off of her Facebook page and I put it on my phone. So I'm going to stick this on the front of the card. And I'm going to swipe to the left and to the left one more time. For and the if you look the, as, you're, as you're talking, so if you look at the very top of the screen, go back one. Swipe. So inside top, front, inside left, it tells you where you are. See, that one says inside bottom. Right. It tells you where you are, where the picture's going to be. And that box right there, you can actually do text or um, you can put a picture. You know, right. Whichever, yeah, you, you, can add, you can add tons of pictures. You know, I'm sure Renee probably has some she can show you when we're done here. That um, She puts lots of pictures on her cards, which is cool. So anyway, here's what's really cool. So I'm going to just um, pick a color. So I'm going to pick, uh, you know, like maybe this blue color. And then there's a lot of fonts that you can choose from. Um, a lot of them look like handwriting, but you can actually, there's a package that you can, can add on package where you can literally send in your own handwriting font and they'll make a font for you, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. And I've already, if it saved it, I already created the message. I'm going to paste the message in here. Um, I put, hi, Carrie, what a cute photo of you. And William looks like you had a 
great time at the beach, enjoy the memory. Um, I, I do this quite often, actually. Um, now, let's see, and then I'm gonna put my name. Now, oh my goodness, okay, so you can also send in your signatures. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my signature in there as well. And there's the inside of the card. Here is the cool part. The back of the card is up for grabs to do whatever you want. So I don't need a business card anymore because guess what? I'm taking a selfie of this. I'm sending a card and on the back of the card's gonna have all my stuff on it. So I have several different backs. I have some that, like I send my dad who has dementia. I mean, I send him cards and brownies every week. In fact, I just sent him a Father's Day card. I did it twice this week. And um, of course I don't have all my marketing stuff on the back. I have pictures of me on there so he doesn't forget me. So anyway, um, so here's the thing. So do this, then you click send at the top. You can add gifts. There's lots of gifts that you can add, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and select contacts. Now this has a really great um, CRM. So you can put all of your, uh, I can hear you typing or Renee, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute you. Um, <laughs> so I've got all my contacts in here and I'm gonna go ahead and look for Carrie. Uh, whoops. I'm gonna look for Carrie. I'm responding to messages in the chat. That's what you've okay. been typing. That's okay. Okay, so there's Carrie. Contact. And I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna go ahead and just click continue. Now, if I was at a networking event, I would, I would add new contact. I usually just hand them my phone and let them put all their contact information, including their birthday, anniversary, and those sort of things. And as you can see, the card is free. I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. I'll tell you how I can do that when I'm finished so I just created a card and I can literally do that in about 30 seconds so the time it is so I'm just telling you I did that 11 p.m. tonight they're gonna print the card they're gonna stuff it stamp it and first thing in the morning it's going out in the mail and Carrie is going to get this cute card in her mailbox in a few days so pretty awesome right <laughs> so very awesome it's very addictive let me just tell you that <laughs> <laughs> and it really doesn't take long. And I'm gonna also say this that I've been sending the cards not so much from my computer but from my phone. I literally go through through my phone and I send I just save the pictures to the photo area, then I delete them when I'm done and I just send I pick on the cards, I pick the cards I want, depending which uh, uh, format of the card I want to do, and I send them out and it's done and within a few days they get the card and I could send out several, you know. Okay. in one one day as many as I want um yeah. it's, it's just incredible absolutely and and I'm going to show you guys last night I literally sent a hundred cards last night within about 10 minutes less than 10 minutes I sent a hundred cards and I'm going to show you how I did that too um okay completely personalized by the way all right so this is some pictures of uh, a few of the pictures that I've done where I go on Facebook so I did a really fun test one day I actually put said what's your favorite pet picture of course, everybody, everyone posts a picture of their dog or cat or their kid's dog or cat or whatever. So I went on Facebook and I messaged, I usually, I don't know most of the people on my Facebook page. I have about 5,000 friends. So I would just message them and I said, hey, oh my gosh, thanks for posting your cute picture of Fluffy on my, on my Facebook post. Can I get your mailing address? I want to send you a surprise. And um, everyone gave me their mailing address. And guess what happened when I send them the cards with their cute pictures of their dogs and cats and their kids and whatever. I get tons of love back, just like Renee said. It's just, just amazing what happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. We're going to show you how do we do this. Three ways to send cards. So I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want to keep you guys here all night. This is, uh, I do want to go over the different things because this system, I'm not joking guys, I'm actually mad at the people that knew about Send Out Cards when I had my tutoring business, my after school program and my summer camp, my school, because I would have used this all the time. And, and uh, I'm telling you, this literally is the best relationship marketing system ever. I don't do anything else but this, and I, I know lots of people that use the system. Now, there's some pretty darn cool uh, things in here that you can do. Now, what I just showed you was what Renee and I do on a consistent basis when we're out networking. We send heartfelt cards, which is what this is. What that means is you're gonna take, you're gonna create a personalized card with a heartfelt message and you push send immediately to them, okay? That's when you're sending your your 
thank you cards and your appreciation cards and those types of play cards. Okay, that's one way to use the system. There's three ways. That's first. That's my favorite, and probably I use it. I use it all. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's like I said, there's there's examples of all the different cards. Oh, up here where it says father and hero, those new. I, that's cool. The Father's Day ones. Those are actually called photo drop cards where they're already designed. They're beautiful cards. And then you just drop your own pictures in there. So or, I, or also you can leave, if you like the picture on it, it's like when you go to the, the store and you see the cards in the, you know, you can, they already have pictures on them. You can leave what you have, or you can replace it with one that you like. Once you have a photo that's on a card that they have, you know, in their display there, you can always change it to what you want so you're not stuck with that card go ahead and i love to like you know what i think renee's we're so much alive. i mean we just really will have the same vision is that when we send a card i love sending photographs on the cards i love it because guess what that's yeah. a gift in itself it is and it's personalized and yes. yeah and they're yeah. never going to throw it away right like who's going to throw the picture of their cat away never <laughs> Um, okay, the other thing is they have amazing gifts, tons, and they always change their gifts too. They add to it. So right now, of course, there's a lot of Father's Day gifts up there and graduation gifts. So you've got gift cards, you got brownies. Oh, they're kind of famous for their brownies, um, jewelry, all kinds of different things that you can send. Now, just a second ago, I just told you that I, sold, I sent about 100 cards last night. Um, and I actually just uh, upgrade. Well, I'll tell you about that in a second. But there's the second way that you can send cards is group sends. Okay, so what that is, is for usually people use this for holiday cards. And believe me, every month there's a holiday, so you could do this every single month. Um, you create one card, and then you can, it'll, you say, I want this group of cards to go to these people. And the CRM in there, where you, you're, it's called the relationship manager, you can actually segment all of your contacts into different groups. So last night, I personally, I, I wanted to send out cards to all my send out cards customers. And so um, to tell them about the new upgraded stuff that they've done to the system because they're constantly upgrading it to make things work really, really seamlessly. So I created one cool card um, with a positive quote on the front. And I sent, I, I clicked, I want this card to go to out these hundred people and I click send. And every single one of them are gonna say, hi, whatever their first name is. So it's pretty awesome. Talk about time saver, okay? And yeah. money saver too. Um, this is really cool. Now, if you, this, it's called scheduled card sends. So you can set up a series of cards go out on certain dates. So let's say you meet, a, you have a new customer and you say, I and you can put them in what you call a campaign that you pre-designed. So you can actually go, I want this customer to get these cards in this, on these particular dates. And you can just push go and you can have one card sent out immediately. You can have one card sent out a month later. You can have one card sent out on, you know, their birthday. Um, set it and forget it. Super, super cool. Um, that's another one that's really awesome. So the relationship manager. Oh my gosh. Um, like I said, you can, you can keep track of birthdays, anniversaries, kids' birthdays. You can take notes. You can group them into groups. It's just a phenomenal system. And you get that when you're on one of the subscriptions. So let's talk about the accounts real quick, if you guys want to hear about that. <laughs> um, Center Cards is like the easiest, no contracts, amazing system ever. And it's, it fits anybody. So let's say you're just going to send a card out here and there. You know, you're just, you're going, well, I'm, I, I'm not really a card sender yet, but I want to send a card here and there. So you can do that. Um, you can just be on the system for free, completely free. And it's a la carte system. So you just pay per card. So basically it's $2.75 a card, which is still way cheaper than going to the store, which they're yeah. like $10. Five to $7 to get a card these days. Yeah. Oh my. Because uh, I've done it. Painful. Not anymore, but I did. And they're the cards that people are just going to throw in the trash, right? They're, yeah. they're like, there's no reason. To, oh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's the basic one. You're going to pay two seventy five a card. You pay an extra dollar for a photo. If you want to send groups of cards, like to two or more people, it's two twenty five a card. 
Um, so that's the basic. So every single person here, you need to get back with the person that invited you and they're going to give you a special link. Now someone, and I'll get into the affiliate thing in a second, but um, go, you get to go send a free card, your first card for free. So anyway, that's the free one. Now, if you want access to the relationship manager, which I said is phenomenal and worth tons of money, I know that my friend pays about $500 a month for her CRM that doesn't really does everything that this one does. And the $17 a month subscription, that's a $225 a card, all inclusive. There's no extra charges on that. $2 a card if you want to send them out as a group of cards. You get a 15% discount on gifts and you have the unlimited relationship manager. So that's pretty cool if you're going to be sending maybe a few cards a week. Okay, that would be a good one to be on if you're going to send a few cards a week. Now, we're getting into the fun stuff here. This to me is the most amazing thing. Now, I literally just upgraded to the one I'm going to show you next today, like an hour ago before I started this. Um, but I was on this for many, many months. This is 97 a month. Listen to this. You can send as many single send, immediate send, heartfelt cards, as many as you want, unlimited, anywhere in the entire world, postage is included, included. So if you're going to send at least one card a day, you're on this system, you're, you're sending, then that's what, just super cheap for the cards. It so, pays for itself, yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I literally send, like I said, I'm, I'm, I send tons of cards every month. So, and you can go into each month also. So if you started um, at the 97, you're like, oh, because this month I'm doing a lot of cards and whatnot. Then you're like, I want to go down to the 17. You can do that. You know, like she said earlier, you're not under contract. So yeah. do what suits you. Um, but it's like, you know, you're going to be sending at least 40 cards or you feel like you're going to be doing that to get your business going in one month. You know, you're like, I'm going to just go full steam ahead. I'm going to do the 97 a month and I'm just going to send, send, send to get my stuff out there, you know, to send these heartfelt cards and, and also you're promoting yourself on the back, then you want to do the 97 because I was sending, I sent like over 60 in one month. Um, you know, that was going to be way more than that. If I was doing it on the, the free account or something, I would have been paying a lot more right. and so I didn't have to. So go ahead. Yes. And so you also get 30% discount on all the gifts, you know, I'm, and I, I send my box of brownies to my dad every month and, or every week almost. And, um, I, I love sending gifts. So that's really super fun. So to me, this is amazing. You also get loyalty rewards. So like every month you get 10 cards that you can send out as a group for free. You just pay postage and you can save those up for holiday cards or whatever. So this is really great for someone. Um, get in the habit of doing this. I promise you, you'll get so addicted. You'll feel like I, I can't even describe what it does for you just on a emotional level. You know, if you're ever depressed, I just sit down and start sending cards. <laughs> so anyway, this is the premium subscription. So 97 a month, again, as many as you want. I literally just upgraded to this because I sent a hundred cards last night and I was like, what have I been doing? I want to I'm going to start sending some positive motivational cards every single month. I have this cute thing I can share with you guys if you want to know. I, it's my own little idea that I have. So I'm going to be sending at least a hundred cards every single month as a group to my hundred best uh, favorite people, I guess, or best customers. So here's what you get for that. You get still the same as the 97 unlimited heartfelt cards, as many as you want anywhere in the world postage included. And you also get 100 free cards to send as a group. So, um, and then you only pay postage on that. So that's 55 cents or whatever, depending on unless you're sending them overseas, you only pay postage. Um, after that, it's only $1.75 for, for the group cards. I forgot to mention that on the 97. If you do any groups, they're only $1.75 anyway, plus postage. Um, so this is a pretty amazing program and I'm just going to tell you, I, I, my friend Carrie, the one I sent the card to, she's a bookkeeper and, uh, you know what she, when she first saw the system and realized that this, she works very closely in business with bookkeeping. And when I had my business, I was very set on what my expenses were for my business and what my necessary costs of goods sold were in my business. And if you have a business I'm telling you right now, $147 a month for a marketing system is nothing. And it is a necessary expense that you should be spending 
as an investment in your business. And I promise you, you will get that back so much if you use the system. And of course, if you use it, if you get on it and you don't use it, of course, you're not going to get it back. But it is to me the, the most economical marketing uh, thing for your marketing budget ever. So anyway, those are the three ways to send the cards and the different subscriptions. Everyone on here needs to get on a free subscription and at least try it out. And then you can decide. And I offer free marketing strategy. So I'd love to sit with you and see what's going to work best for you and your business. So that's it. Oh, okay. Now there's some add-ons here. Uh, like I said before, for $49, uh, one time only, just 41, it's not a month or anything, just once. They will create your own font in your own handwriting with your signatures. They also have for $99, uh, it's called the first impressions pack. These are like high quality stock uh, pre-designed uh, cards that you can set schedule out, you know, like nice to meet you celebrating new possibilities. Thank yous and all that kind of stuff. Um, or you can get the, they're, they're doing a special with a combination of the handwriting font and the um, set of cards for only $99, which is kind of cool. Um, there it is. Okay. And then there's a campaign store. Whoops. Sorry about that. There's a campaign store. If you're in, if you know people in any of these industries, you know, definitely have them talk to one of us because if you are, if you know people in the insurance or if you're in landscaping or motorsports or network marketing, pet care, they have pre-designed cards that are specifically designed for those industries. Super cool cards. They're on high quality stock. You can purchase this, the cards that you can have access to for life. Really cool store. You can go check that out as well. Um, now, there's um, a couple of other things you can do with sent-out cards. You've got the four different ways that you can use them. There's different ways that you, different types of uh, customer you can be with sent-out cards. Number one, you can just be a customer and choose a subscription and use it in your business, okay? If you would like to have your sent-out card subscription paid for, mean, uh, literally paid for, and mine is paid for, even though I upgraded, uh, I'm an affiliate with sent out cards. So I became an affiliate, which means when I share this, I have a special link or a number. If I share it with someone and they decide to jump on board and they decide to use sent out cards, sent out cards pays me a uh, commission. If you guys are into, in, anyone into affiliate marketing, every single, per, I'm in a lot of affiliate uh, marketing type thing. So this has to me the best one ever because all you really need is to share it. It's only $59 a year to be an affiliate, by the way, 59 bucks a year. Um, and here's what you need to do. If you're on the 97 subscription, for example, um, it sort of works out. Of course, it never works out perfectly, but all you really need to do is share it with four people that become a customer on the same plan that you're on. And the commissions that sent out cards will send you will completely pay for your subscription. So essentially all my cards I send out are free. So it's pretty awesome. So that's the second way. You can be a customer, you can just be an affiliate and share it with people and, and, and get commissions just like any other affiliate thing. Or you can go a step further. You can actually build teams of people. You can sign up other affiliates and then you can earn commissions on what they sell. And uh, you can do the whole, you can turn it into a little side business or like my friend Carrie, she's, this is her whole business. <laughs> so that's another way you can use send out cards as well. So basically, um, I'm going to tell you, we're going to get off here so I can answer questions, but get back to the person. Whoever invited you here is most likely an affiliate. Otherwise, they probably, you know, I don't know, a lot of people, I have customers that promote you too, but um, get back to the person who invited you. Uh, if nobody invited you and you were here because of me, cardsfromsue.com is where you can go send a free card on me. And Renee, what is your link if anybody that's here? Oh, they want to send it to my Gmail. Is that what? Uh, or oh, mine over the. Oh, it's Renee. Oh, sendoutcards.com forward slash Renee Reich. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. She, so contact Renee for sure if you're here. I know she's got some guests on here too. So, yeah. I'm going to Absolutely, yeah. stop the share here. And anybody that wants to pop on their faces. <laughs> yeah, there's a question in the chat. So, um, Tracy's asking what's the commission rate? 
Um, hold, I'm going to undo this little button here so I can see who's still with us here. And go ahead and get your face on here if you can so we can talk. Okay, the commission, the easiest way, um, I can't really get into it on here because it's, it's complicated depending on what you're doing. Not really complicated, it's actually quite simple. Why don't you go ahead and we can talk after or get on a private Zoom or... Depending, it, yeah, depending what, what program you're on, that will vary. Sorry, and instead of going over each one, I'm here and taking people's time. We'll do that privately. Yeah, that's that's like something where we can share you share the whole thing with you. But it's it's the easiest thing on the planet. Seriously, it's so much fun. And um, yeah. So, okay, um, and I, I answered the other questions as you were going along. Um, she was asking, you know, how about ask, uh, getting people's addresses, and I said I wondered the same thing, but I just asked, and you'll be amazed because, like I said earlier on one of the slides. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. So you're not asking strangers for their addresses. You're asking people that you know and they know you. And I have reached out to celebrities. I've reached out to, uh, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs who I know, but I don't necessarily see all the time. And I, I because I connect with them and they know, like, and trust me and I know, like, and trust them. I just said, hey, you know, what's your address? I'd like to send you something. And they, they give it to me. And then I was surprised. I'm like, well, how am I going to get the addresses? <laughs> do. If you don't ask, you don't get. And just feel that they're going to. If it's some new person you just met that you don't know, I mean, that's a little, you know, odd. It's like, why would you want it? But people that you've already established a rapport with, absolutely. Oh, but um, you know what? I'm telling you, when I post those things on Facebook, everyone gives me their address. Because oh, I well, think also, if they would, yes. If Depending on the... the um, this, the circumstances around what you're asking, if you're just out of the blue, to, you know, messaging a stranger, they're like, wow, what is this? But <laughs> if it's around, if it's around, you know, the circumstance of what you're doing, uh, that makes perfect sense. I'm going to send you a picture of Fluffy or whatever. Yeah, then that, that's great. I'd love to get your, in, your information and do that. That's like, then it's a different situation for sure. But yeah. you're going to do business with people that you already feel comfortable with or else you wouldn't be involved with them in this kind of a way. So um, that's, how, that's how I answered that one. And yeah. I have had nobody say no to me. Not one person said no. Not no. one. Huh. That's Never. good to know. Okay. Never. All right. Um, I actually have to get off. But Sue, thank you, ladies, for this. Inf you know, lots of great information. And I will um, be chatting with you, Sue. We'll talk a little bit more about this, so I can. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tracy. Yeah. And um, also for those that might be watching the replay, because I'm going to send the link out to some people who couldn't be on that said they wanted to be. Um, please reach out to me. I'd love to walk you through sending a card. It's just incredible.